Hey guys, welcome to our new series, Making a Mail Disk 2 Clone. So I'm trying this new video format. I'm not very experienced with this. I'm going to be calling it Code Along Series. So let me know in the comments what you think and if you like to see more videos like this. So what is Mail Disk 2 service? Imagine that you are creating a website and on that website you want to have a contact form to let users get in contact with you. Now to have such a form, you need to have something on your server that actually sends the content of that form to you or somehow stores it in some way. What this means is that for this functionality to exist on your website, you actually need to do some server-side code. Well, either that or you use a service that takes care of sending the data from the form to you in some way. And this is what MailDis2 does. The idea and the way it works is actually really simple. On the form that you are creating on your website, on the action of that form, you put the URL for mail to this slash the email where you want to receive your data. You set the method as post and you are basically done. You deploy your website and when your users go to your website and use that form and do the submit data, that data is sent to mail this to and their service grabs the data that was submitted, places it inside an email and sends that email to the address that was provided. There are many other services like form carry and backend which are more or less like mail this to, but they are a lot more complex. They have a lot more features which we don't really care about right now. The simplest one is mail this to. Well, the simplest one that I've found till now. But for some reason, it stopped working. So the idea for this project. And to actually implement this, I'm going to be using the Play Framework, which is a Java and Scala framework that I've used a lot in the past. And uh, I really like it because it gets uh, things going really fast from the ground up without much trouble. So we'll use that. So Play Framework. I haven't started a Play project from scratch in a long time, so this is going to be interesting. We are going to be using the seed so that we have some basis to start off from. So let's use this. Oh, sorry. Like so. In case you don't have SBT installed, which is Scala build tool, you can go to the Scala SBT site. So. You go to documentation, there are a few guides to, on how to install it on your system. So we are going to call this project forward me this. Go to from scratch. That's basically this done. I'm going to be using IntelliJ, so, and I'm going to open or import and select the folder of the project that we have just created. One eternity later. And that's it done. So this is a code along series, so I should start coding. But before I go into that, uh, I want to make sure that you understand that I've actually thought about this a little bit beforehand. I did some drawings and a piece of paper just to make sure that I understand uh, the scope of things that needed to be done. And to actually show you, I did uh, put those drawings into a diagram form like this. I'm going to be showing this diagram as we go. But the main point I want to make is that before you dive in to a project, even if it is a really small project, just write things down. Just write down what you want to achieve on that project at least. What's the minimum viable product that you want to have made at the end of the session, okay? So let's get started. So inside the app folder we've got the controllers which we only have one okay and one action method and we've got the views folder okay we, with some scala templates the configuration it should be empty nice and the routes file which only maps the index action to slash which is good and we are using logback okay so the on controller I'm going to be using it to basically just serve the pages that I want to return to the users. 
and I'm going to want to have another controller which I'm going to be calling the forward both controller which is going to be handling all the the basically the requests for forms and to send emails so extends controller so oh that's it nice now the um controller is returning the index this okay which uses the main template and we give it a title and then we send the content and the title we place it over here inside title and the content HTML we place it inside the body okay so basically we are saying welcome to play it's the title and then we place this inside the body I'm gonna call this forward me this landing page we're just gonna use this as a placer we are uh, later on we'll make something better page like this I'm going to create a running configuration so play run app like this module just create this and let's give it a run Most, like so so it's compiling everything one eternity later let's go. oh it's done okay so it is working we'll leave it running and actually it didn't show anything about uh didn't show anything regarding uh the method being called so let's actually let's go for documentation and logging This is Scala, okay. Let's see if this one comes up with the Java one. Yeah, nice. So, logo, logo factory. Let's use this. Let's go for the controller. Like so. Gonna make it private. Import class one and the log of factory. I'm not going to use this name, I'm going to use home controller.class. So it gives me this logger. And okay, let's just say just to test it out debug it's called let's see and nothing shows up okay let me see the configurations over here okay so this I'm gonna make this debug let's see if this refreshes yep good so it's working let's close this and the index and the main let's copy this to the other controller like so and that's good and let's leave it like this for the time being the next part of this tutorial should be coming out in two days, so stay tuned. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to get notification of the next videos.
Thank you so much. Bye.